Hi everyone, let's learn how to find a Cartesian equation of a plane using the coordinates of three points which are contained in it. This scenario is illustrated on the right hand side of the screen. We can see a plane with three points, A, B and C, and we want to find this plane's Cartesian equation. Now before starting, I should point out that this can only be done provided that the three points we're given don't lie in a straight line. In other words, the three points that were given cannot be collinear. Now, the method that we learn here can be summarized in three steps. Step one, find two non-collinear or non-parallel vectors that are contained in the plane. And to do that, we use the three points that we were given. So let's do that. We have the coordinates of point A, those are 0, 1, 2, as well as the coordinates of point B, 2, 3, and 1, as well as those of C, those are negative 1, 2, and 3. So I'll go ahead and define the vector AB, as well as the vector AC. Using the coordinates of points A and B, we can define the vector AB, whose components are equal to 2 minus 0, so that's 2, 3 minus 1, which is also 2, and 1 minus 2, so that's negative 1. Next, using the coordinates of points A and C, we define the vector AC, and its components are equal to negative 1 minus 0, so that's negative 1, 2 minus 1, so that's 1, and finally, 3 minus 2, which is 1. Done. And that's our first step, done we've now defined two non-collinear vectors that are contained in the plane. Step two, we need to find a normal to the plane. And to obtain a normal to the plane, all we have to do is calculate the cross product of any two non-collinear vectors that are contained in the plane. So we'll calculate the cross product of vectors AB and AC to define the normal vector that we'll call N. So the normal vector n is equal to the cross product of vector ab and vector ac. And I say cross product, but you may well be used to calling it vector product. Now, there are several methods or formula for calculating the vector product of two vectors, but I like to use the determinant of a matrix method. Now, this is equal to the determinant of the matrix whose top row is i, j, k, those are the unit base vectors, and whose second row is made of the components of the first vector in the product, so those are 2, 2, negative 1, that's 2, 2, negative 1, and the third row is made of the components of the second vector in the product, so those are negative 1, 1, 1, that's negative 1, 1, 1. And now expanding this determinant along its top row i, j, and k, leads to i times 2 times 1 minus 1 times negative 1, so that's 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, so that turns into plus 1, minus the unit base vector j times 2 times 1, which is 2, minus negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1, so that's 2 minus 1, plus the unit base vector k times, in parentheses, 2 times 1, which is 2, minus negative 1 times 2. So that was 2 times 1, which is 2, minus negative 1 times 2, so that becomes plus 2. Finally, simplifying all that, the normal vector n is equal to 3i minus 1j, which we just write minus j, plus 4k. And we're done. And we can go ahead and write that normal in its component form. So that's 3, negative 1, 4. Okay, we now have a normal to the plane. So we move on to the third and final step, step 3, in which we use the scalar product form formula to find a Cartesian equation of the plane. Now, the scalar product form formula states that the scalar product of n and r is equal to the scalar product of n and a, where the vector n is any normal to the plane, the vector r is a generic position vector in 3D space, in other words, vector r will equal to x, y, and z, 
and vector a is the position vector of any point contained in the plane. Now we could choose either of the three points we were given, but I'll go ahead and use point a. Since its coordinates are 0, 1, and 2, the position vector of point A will therefore have components 0, 1, and 2. So, using these three vectors, this equation turns into the dot product of 3, negative 1, 4, and x, y, and z, and that's equal to the dot product of 3, negative 1, 4, and 0, 1, 2. Now the dot product on the left hand side will be 3 times x plus negative 1 times y plus 4 times z and that leads us to 3x minus y plus 4z or 4z and that's equal to the dot product on the right hand side which will be 3 times 0 plus negative 1 times 1 plus 4 times 2. So that's 0 minus 1 plus 8. Finally, simplifying the right-hand side, we obtain a Cartesian equation of our plane, and that would be 3x minus y plus 4z, and that's equal to 7. And we're done. We've just found a Cartesian equation of our plane using three points that are contained in it do make a note of the three steps we just followed. In summary, in the first step, we defined two non-collinear vectors contained in our plane. In step two, we used those vectors to define a normal to the plane, and to do that, we calculated the vector product of those two vectors. Finally, in step three, we used the scalar product form of a plane's equation to obtain a Cartesian equation for our plane. And there we have it. That's it for this tutorial. 